weed or THC edible ingestions unintentional by kids are up like 1300% since 2017. And why is this? Well, just look at the packaging. Like, oh my God, it's as if these are designed to be marketed to young children and toddlers. So kids who are in the 18 month to three to five year range, they're mobile, they can get into things they're not supposed to, and they see these bright colored packages and they go for what's inside and eat them. What they showed here is exactly right. So children will not likely die from these overdoses, but what happens is they come in with super non-specific symptoms. So ataxia, or maybe like a wobbling gait, or just being super sleepy or obtundent. Sometimes in severe cases, they'll have seizures that's been reported, but all of this is sort of non-specific. So they undergo a ton of workup, getting head CTs, sometimes lumbar punctures, laboratory analyses, and then eventually they find out that it was just hot. Most of these kids will recover fine with some supportive care. Some of them do require endotracheal intubation and mechanical ventilation to keep them safe because they're just that sleepy and obtunded, but most will make it out okay. The toxic dose is 1.7 or more migs per kg. So doing some quick math for the average 28 pound toddler, let's say, they would only need to have two to three gummies to achieve a toxic dose. So just remember, if you have THC gummies at home, hiding them is not enough. They need to be hidden, Kid can't know where they are and they need to be locked up and secured to keep them safe.